The moment everyone's been waiting for. The, the thing that... The most requested feature... I have... Finally. Finally, we have it. So Signature Force Stage 3 is finally opening. Today's video, we're going to be breaking down the developer notes for Exos Heroes. Finally, we got some new update on the content. This is for season three. This was six hours ago. And to give you an idea, that it's 8.54 a.m. here in Alaska time. So six hours ago. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm. Well, we're just going to find out. I'm going to read what the patch is and then my thoughts on it on as I go and at the end of the video. I've been seeing these pictures for this for season well, not for season three, but chapter 15. If you want to see the cinematics, like I have a video, you can understand where we're at. When one chapter comes out, the previous chapter gets easier. But if you just want to watch it all, it's one of the videos on the channel. And then before I begin, I would like to send out my sincere apologies regarding the inconvenience caused by the lack of care and informing you earlier about the incident of Air Squadron Battle. From this note, I'll be sharing news about Season 3 update contents for newcomers and several improvements have been made to the game. So then here's the picture. After recovering from Shufraka's attack, Zeon and his companions have grown from their failure at Brun and continue to head towards the next destination, St. West. Although mentioned several times from the beginning of the journey of season three, Bloody Rhapsody, the Veiled Nation, St. West is finally being released. The gigantic city of something, I can't pronounce it, Ellister, um, built on calm fields and complicated secrets and the complicated secrets of the royals. What adventures await Sienna and his crew? First story, season three, open through chapter 15. They keep saying season three. I didn't really like season two with the updates to gear. Hopefully they have fixed that with season three. I'm hoping it makes more sense with how they upgrade the gear because I feel like there was a massive misopportunity. It, it, it almost feel, it feels like there's two different departments. One was doing the gear upgrades from Embodiment of Avarice. Then there's another one where they're like, okay, screw it, we'll just awaken everyone and then wipe out all that progress and then give you all that back. I've been talking about this a lot, but I really want more gear diversity in the game. I would love to have that level of depth to the game if instead of everyone, okay, you get this amount of crit rate, you get this amount of crit damage, everyone has this amount of speed. I really want them to fix that. I don't think they will, but that's what I'm hoping for. So then new recruit hero chance up added. New heroes chance up that was available through nation recruit has been prepared through a separate chance up re recruit. You can meet the new heroes, Carrie Nim Nimerous and John Donk. <laughs> that are being added in this update. Look at which one do you think is the general? If I had to guess the general, well, it's supposed to be the guy in the middle, but I would assume it's the girl on the left. And hero strengthening guide update. Hero strengthening guide will be added to learn about hero's weapon strengthening method. Within the hero strengthening guide, we have prepared a hero with silver rated fake core and a variety of growth missions for you to work on. So, so silver rated fake core, that's new. Okay, hero strengthening guide will be renewed on every season, updated with new fake core missions to allow new users to easily experience the charm Exos Heroes had. Mm, okay, strengthen the newly prepared Cafe Des Cho, I, I can't pronounce, um, and go through stories collecting abundant amount of rewards. Hero growth guide. Okay, so... They're giving challenge missions and stuff. It seems to be like a good progression system. It looks cleaner. It looks a lot better in my opinion. Okay, so new Fakor rate silver added. A new Fakor rate silver will be added. The Fakor silver is a special rate solely for the hero strengthening guide and in season three update in French will be given. The silver Fakor skill is made to help clear stories. The percentage of acquiring a silver fake ore is equivalent to a black fake ore. The intent, so director's intention, we have prepared the new fake ore as a gift to the original users and for newcomers to clear stories easily. Silver rate will be added with the hero's strengthening guide on every season update. Okay, so title update and a new title function will be added to describe your achievements. You can automatically gain title if you clear a certain achievements from the titles you hold. Choose one that you would like to have be shown, set the title. Okay, so titles are cool. So nation recruit improvements among many 
Recruit methods will be able to gain a huge amount of mileage reward in Nation Recruit. However, on the first of every month, the obtained reward of mileage uh, reward and mileage amount reset. So it seemed many users were having to inconveniently collect Nation Recruit tickets and use them all at once. To prevent such inconvenience from happening, we have changed the reset date to the first of the next month from the date that you have obtained the highest stage of mileage reward. Okay, that's a useless as update. We believe this will help you freely use Nation Recruit tickets with no worries. Yeah, it, it, as long as it's uh, so, it's wait first the first of every month the obtained re re record of mileage reward. Okay, what the, to prevent such inconvenience from happening, we have changed the reset date to the first of the next month from the date that you have obtained the highest stage of mileage reward. Okay, so they reset it. Okay, so you have to go all the way through. So this is actually like dope. That's actually really good. So. The way I'm reading it is once you finish it, which takes forever, then on the first, it will reset. So people can't just spam them. But at the same time, you're not just sitting there hoarding. Okay, well, that's cool. Okay, so core memory. A core memory group in Awakening theme will that you have all been waiting for will be added. The first group is Rachel, um, Jaikon, and Otard. And the second group is Shufrakin, uh, Baraka, and Lepin. Core memory and the awakening theme will be open sometime in February 2021. See that that makes Shufrakin significantly more viable, even though he's essentially in the meta right now. I would say the Greenland is number one, but then a lot of Shufrakin teams are number two. So him finally getting his core memory is going to really put him over the top, in my opinion. The moment everyone's been waiting for. That the thing that the most requested feature. I finally. Finally, we have it. So Signature Force Stage 3 is finally opening. Oh, finally. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. In the first update of Season 3, up to the fourth enhancement of Stage 3 will be open in Wasted Red. Also, Vagabond's fourth enhancement in Stage 2 will be open as well, so please look forward to various heroes' achievement part of on the battlefield. Okay, so, you know, I, I'm sure, I'm sure everyone has just breathed a sigh of relief that they finally added the thing we've all been wanting for so long. I, I feel like I've barely even gotten a chance to break into C, uh, uh, stage two of Signature Force, let alone stage three. But it looks like they're at least piecing it out, so Wasted Red gets it. Okay, daily mission content improvements. For faster growth within the game, we have downgraded some of the entering conditions for daily mission contents. For entering conditions of the special lunatic difficulty, we have reduced the number of required heroes of an element to make a team by one hero. From now on, from now you can enter the special difficulty with three heroes of the element and lunatic difficulty with four heroes of the element. See, that's nice. I, I like that they're doing that. I just want them to fix side story because they have a massive issue when it comes to solar seals. Also, to minimize the inconvenience of having to move each contents to meet the dungeon enter requirements in combat power conditions, we have added the team suggest function in the quick battle. Nice. Okay. Eternal Bond. From all of your loving interest in the Eternal Bond, we would like to disclose in advance the third round of heroes that will be for the Eternal Bond. The third Eternal Bond heroes are Rachel and Bathory. Okay. From last holiday. I I'm stoked because I'm totally going to cop that Bathory. Don't miss out on the opportunity to obtain excess heroes, represent, uh, representative heroes. Okay. So package shop improvements. Okay. Uh, we have prepared many items within the package shop for your active play. However, it will be difficult to figure out what FSC each item contained. From now on, the FSC of each item will be shown in the package banner. It will be easier for you to check the effects of each item when you are wanting to purchase a package. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, you know, my my dumbass over here. Um, define efficacy. Ability to produce a desired or intended result. I, has anyone had an efficacy issue with with the packages? I don't. I've never had an efficacy issue. Uh, I've seen them. I've seen them all loud and clear, and they're all trash. <laughs> I've never never been like, hmm. I'm lacking some efficacy on these packages. The, the, their issues is that they're out of touch with what people want and what people are willing to spend for what they're giving. Um, conven uh, convenience improvements, skip extra recruit effect. From now on, you can skip the recruit effect of legendary, faded heroes, and faded equipment heroes you already have. See, I'm so stoked for that when it comes to switching out gear, like switching out stones, I mean, on gear. 
go to settings, skip here, recruit effects, and select what you would like to skip in the recruit effects. When you're in the process of recruiting, press the skip button and then a blank space on the screen. Okay, cool. Uh, removal of a few effects in door creation. We have noticed that there's a lot of time being spent on the inconvenience that comes with the effects changing the guardian. So, okay, cool. The, the, we've got rid of the door creation guardian sun change so you can change the result. Okay, so I've been wanting that for a minute. So I'm really glad that they're changing that. Okay, so manage heroes inventory. A separate space is being added so that you can change the guardian stone and faded equipment in inventory and manage heroes. Select the faded... You like to change the guardian zone and press the change guardian zone element button to this function. Still use the original. Oh, okay. Even better. Significantly better than I was expecting. Okay. We have noticed that the method to check heroes nation that you do not have yet is lacking. Therefore, a function to place the order of heroes by their nation have been added to the journal. Dope. Exos. Okay. So the, the pass is Exos pass core, raid pass, and quantum raid pass. There are more rewards you can get to play Exos. As you play Axos Pass, Corrade Pass, and Quantum Pass, however, as much as the rewards there are, there is also inconveniences of touching all of them to receive each unrespectively. Receive all, all button will be added so you can receive all the, okay. I, I want them to be able to, you can auto pass battle, pass battles trash. Okay, um, once you start the Uper's Labyrinth battle, we'll have made changes so that you can use a 2x button and auto button at the top right corner. Nice. Skip function, the tutorial, tutorial section. We have skip function, tutorial to start up the game. Okay, dope. Well run improvements. Reduce the match time in multiplayer mode. Don't care. Closing comments. Um, so look at the closing comments because here, I want to make sure you guys can see it. To finish off, we'd like to announce the growth of direction of rank equipment. Currently, to use rank 1 equipment, you also need to level, use up level 60 faded armors at all parts and continue the hero awakening in the process all the equipment that was used vanishes six guardian stones that you have reduced to one and the equipment slots have been left vacant until you obtain rank one equipment to combat the combat power would have risen due to hero awakening but there are situations where heroes function could not be demonstrated 100 percent a lot of raised opinions Regarding this issue, have also decided that the current ranked equipment system has been somewhat disappointing. Therefore, from rank 2, we are considering the way of having a sp spent a certain material within the previous ranked equipment to upgrade. We are still in the process of figuring out the direction on this, so we would appreciate if you can understand that this is difficult to provide you with the more detailed information at this stage. We are always ready to think deeply and come up with solutions on irrational parts of the game like this with you. Furthermore, Season 3 is starting with the new update. We will do our best to make Exos Heroes continue to grow to be the game that it, all, including the current leap, present. We will do our best to make sure Exos Heroes continues to grow to be the game that all, including the current leap, present. Returned, and new users will be satisfied. With, okay, wait, maybe I should just finish it before I roasting them. Uh, we will do our best to make sure Exos Heroes continues to grow to be the game that all, that all including the current leap, present returned and new users can be satisfied with okay so it, it makes sense i think they missed a comment at a certain point but whatever okay we thank you as always have a fruitful new year cool okay so overall i would say a lot of much needed quality of life changes from day to day i think it's really going to add up uh i'm really hoping that season or chapter 15 is going to be fun the, them really pushing the signature force is kind of a bummer even though it's only for wasted red it's essentially like it's not really updated wasted red it has depending on the I'm curious on what the actual boosts are going to be for Signature Force before I really go in on it. But they have had added a lot of new ways to get generals reasonably, so I'm not complaining too hard on it. But at the same time, I just want a little bit more to do, and I think the new chapter will help with that. Trials seem to be a little easier this time around. Like I actually like finished them, so um, kind of kind of just the PvP grind is really what it what it comes down to. And if you enjoy the PvP in this game then there's a lot to do because you get a lot of attempts per day like compared to other games like you could play a lot of pvp in this game compared to other games so that that is one benefit to exos over other games but with that pretty much that is the update that was me live reactions just read it this was the first time i read it with you guys so let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this patch disappointing mediocre good you know what, what are you guys thinking until next time you guys have a good one peace